What's up guys, Richie here. Just today I got asked this question. Uh, I'm building a recording studio and should I get a Mac or a PC to run Pro Tools? And this is a question I get asked a lot because you know, if someone's building a studio and they're doing it from scratch and they're gonna get a computer, they wanna know, you know what's better. And a lot of people think you know, music software always runs better on Mac. Um, there was a time when that's true, but I mean, as you can see, I have a Windows computer behind me and I run Pro Tools and it's fine. So <clears throat> what do you do? Okay, let's talk about your options first. Some people might want to run PC, either they already have one or because, you know, in a lot of cases, a PC can be cheaper than a Mac. I would say if you are not comfortable using PCs, and when I say using them, I mean, you know, there are certain things that pop up, you know, errors, if you want to call them, and or things happen when you're a Windows user. And if you're a long-time Windows user, you know how to get around them, you know how to deal with these things. If you're not a tech-savvy person who, you know, can handle Windows hiccups here or there, I would say get it on Mac. Um, another thing is, another advantage to using Mac is that you could just buy one off the shelf, with, I guess with the exception of a few models, and Pro Tools will most likely run on your computer. With PC, you have to make sure you have the recommended specs, and I'll put a link to that page, uh, I guess here, here, or in the description, and uh, you really need to make sure that your computer is up to snuff. Now, you might have a blazing fast gaming PC, and it will still not like Pro Tools. Uh, and the reason for that is Pro Tools, you know, with the Macs, they can pretty much test their uh, software on every version of a Mac. You can't do that with a PC because there are so many different companies making PCs and there are so many variables and components you could swap out. So you really can only do that on a few different configurations. And on the Avid website, for under the Pro Tools section, there will be a list of configurations that they've tested. Um, <clears throat> so you can buy an off-the-shelf model, like I believe there are a few Dells up there that they've actually tested it with, but if you don't, you wanna make sure your PC is as close to one of those models as possible. Uh, here's a quick example. On my PC back here, I was running Pro Tools, uh, and then every time I went to go use a, a Waves plugin, I would move one of the sliders and it would crash. My PC was blazing, you know, everything was great, but I had this issue. What I actually had to do was get a slower video card, um, one that was not as good, but was recommended by Avid. So you really have to make sure that all of your specs are exactly what they want, and then you can use a PC. Like I said, I have a PC back here. I love it, I use it with no issues. Uh, but I also like using Pro Tools on a Mac. I have no problem with that either. I think that's great. I, it's, it's just a preference for me. I'm a Windows guy. I don't hate Macs. I think they're great. If someone gave me a Mac and said, use Pro Tools on this, I would not be angry. But anyway, uh, so that's pretty much it. If you're a Mac guy uh, and you like that operating system, get it. Um, if you want to save a few bucks and maybe use your Windows computer, I would only recommend doing that if you are one, comfortable with Windows, comfortable enough to change settings and optimize your system, and two, willing to open the computer up and change it with the recommended hardware. So Pro Tools, like I said, works great on both systems, but it really is up to you. Thanks for watching.